And they say that Virginia, they say that Virginia, the state, is for lovers, right? A little more than nine months ago, did Virginians ever love Barack Obama, making him the first Democrat since Lyndon Johnson back in 1964 to win this traditionally conservative and Republican state? Different story today. Now, President Obama pulling out all the stops for the Democratic gubernatorial candidate there, but not quite with the same magic. Growing frustration there, and perhaps Chris Ann Cleland illustrates that frustration best. She voted for the president, but doesn't like a whole lot of what she has seen since from the president. So, Chris, um, I caught a lot of your comments and all it. Uh, you like him personally. You think a great deal of, of obviously, his promise when he ran, and which is why you voted for him. Uh, we're six, seven months in, into this. It, too early, too soon for buyer's remorse, or how would you describe it? Oh, it's never too early for buyer's remorse. I think that um, for me personally, it's if you're going to run as an anti-politician, you're going to have to show me that you're an anti-politician. Um, I was really hoping for some more transparency, um, some more accountability. Where, I'm a where specifically, Chris? Oh, these bailouts, they drive me crazy. I'm, I'm more like-minded like Mike Huckabee. I was listening to his comments earlier. Uh, if you're going to bail a bank out, I'd like to see where the money's going. I work with these guys every day on troubled assets. I work hmm. in short sales every day. And the way that these banks beat what, themselves what you, over what the you, head. What do you do, Chris? I'm sorry. I work with short sales. They're pre-foreclosure sales, people gotcha. that owe more than they're going to get for the sale of their home, and banks have to approve those sales. They're a nightmare. Okay, so, but um, I'm just wondering, Chris, because when, when uh, Senator Obama was running for president, he was not giving any indication that he was going to stop these uh, bailouts or, or government rescues. Uh, you know, he was going to look at them and see whether they were doing what they were supposed to do. I don't recall him saying that they would stop, though. So when they continued, or at least he didn't reverse what President Bush was doing, wh why were you surprised? I'm, I'm not really surprised by that. Um, I don't think anybody promised that they weren't going to do any more of the money. It's more the fact that there's no accountability for it, because that was one of his big campaign promises, was accountability and transparency. And it really does feel like dealing with these banks that are getting more and more money every day, um, what are they doing with the money? So you're arguing that this guy was going to be very different, a transformational type of character, has not lived up to what you thought would be the case. It could be just the reality this is Washington and how it works and he has to work <laughs> within Washington. Not good enough for you? He I think that is the reality, and, and it's sad to think that, that you know, it's, it's going to always be that way. No matter who you vote for, they're a politician, and you plug them into the system, and, and that's the way it's going to be. All right. Um, anything that could change your mind on him at this point, Chris? I, I think a little more, um, like I said, the transparency, the accountability. Um, if you're going to give my taxpayer dollars to a bank, tell me where it's going. Show me how it's working, because in my everyday life as a realtor, I'm not seeing it. Okay. Chris uh, and Cleveland, thank you very much. Good having you on. Thank you. Well, Virginia will be one of two early.